Now, your news on the go. It's 7.53 and 19 degrees in Syracuse. Here are today's top stories and your news on the go. On Friday, Onondaga County losing another 13 people to COVID-19. Five of those deaths coming from local nursing homes. This says the county added 474 new cases to its active total. Oneida County reporting 312 new cases Friday to go along with three new deaths. Keuka County with 158 new cases to end their week and 84 new cases in Oswego County with five deaths at local nursing homes. After being criticized for the slow pace of the coronavirus vaccine rollout, Governor Cuomo says beginning Monday, New York will allow a much larger group to get vaccinated. That includes anyone 75 years or older. The governor warning that initially the supply of vaccines available for people other than health care workers and nursing homes would be very limited. A Syracuse man is a person of interest wanted by the FBI in connection to Wednesday's riot. A lawyer tells us 65-year-old Albert Charpelli is the man seen on the lower right in this wanted poster from the Washington Metropolitan Police. Dozens of people have already, arrested, have already been arrested following Wednesday's violence. New this morning, Winter Ithaca Farms Market returning today. It's one of the, 20, it's one of the first 2021 events held at the tri at the Trihamper Marketplace. The market runs every Sunday through March 27th from 10.30 to 2 in the afternoon. Because of the pandemic, vendors will be more spaced out than last year. And new this year, organizers putting on an online market to pre-order goods for curbside pickup. That online starting, that starts online January 11th. 7.55 now, Tom is in with one more look at Central New York's most accurate forecast. Tom? Well, those uh, runners this morning, here's a look at your forecast. Nice to see some sunnier skies out there this morning. Even if you want to take a nice morning walk, no alerts to talk about. And we look to be good to go this morning as skies stay dry for the rest of today. Your planning forecast, a little cooler, only near 20 degrees this morning by 9 o'clock. But those numbers will rise up towards the lower 30s. Again, a nice mix of sun and clouds. Breezes out of the northwest will make it feel a bit cooler towards the lower to mid 20s. But the clouds will be on the return for this evening. We'll see temperatures drop down towards 21 degrees. Degrees, not as chilly as where we are this morning before another nice day is in store for Sunday. A mix of sun and clouds, 32 degrees is your high temperature. We still remain quiet for the next several days for the first half of this work week. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, mid 30s for highs before the next chance for some extra clouds and even some unsettled weather comes back into the picture Thursday and Friday thanks to a cold front. Because it's going to be warmer too with highs near 40 degrees, we can see some rain and snow mixes thrown in there. So looking a little dicey the end of the week, so we'll keep you updated on that.